Welcome aboard everyone, Simon here from the Wales of Wall Street. Today's update is on Clever, KLV on the exchange. We have covered this quite recently in a product project introduction video rather. I'll leave a link at the end of this video for you guys if you are interested in that, if you have not watched it already, or if you want to watch it again because you are so fascinated by it. Either way, we'll put it there for sure. Guys, I wanted to bring a couple of updates uh, for Clever um, and some really interesting stuff coming out, of course, in a few days' time, which could have some potential uh, implications to the chart, hopefully in a positive way. We'll go into the chart shortly amongst talking about the topics that we have in the schedule here. So, guys, let's first of all start uh, with the roadmap, we did cover some of this in the intro video, but I just want to emphasize that this is a really good indicator, of course, which is the whole point of roadmap, obviously, to show you what is coming for Clever. And they even go as far as a few years time, albeit that it's quite basic information, but you know that they're trying to continuously develop. That's what I wanna see when I'm investing in something. So obviously we have the Clever Exchange, uh, a couple of months ago. Uh, I've only just installed it myself last week. That's when we then did the intro video and thanks to the people in uh, Twitter, uh, or people on Twitter, sorry, um, bringing it to my attention. Um, couldn't believe how easy it was, um, what it's about and how it's gonna help the world, which we'll go on to in a second. Uh, but yeah, they've got the exchange available on the mobile. You can download it for free on Google Play or the iOS store, um, but also, Q3, so uh, we've got the Clever ID, so that's part of what we talked about in, in the intro video of the, um, the identification process being nice and slick and secure. Um, so it's really cool on that aspect. And then they've got the desktop um, exchange developing as well. We've already got the iOS one um, for the wallet, but we haven't got the exchange yet. So guys, Honestly, I think this is going to be absolutely phenomenal. The swapping process on this platform is fantastic. The ease of use, the staking, everything was brilliant. And we will do a staking video in a couple of days' time in preparation uh, for these other big launches. Um, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, you have to use Tron um, to transfer across the wallet and then exchange for KLV. But we'll go into that in more detail in a few days' time. And then in Q4, hard wallet pre hardware wallet pre-sale uh, they have their blockchain mainnet number 1.0 launching which is fantastic and then they've got a few other swap net elements in there and of course the validators for the staking elements as well so I'm sure there'll be a queue of people wanting to be validators uh, for the staking opportunities that are arising on this platform and there's loads of other cool stuff which are covered again in the intro video but of course the clever bank which will be offering things like the loans um, and all of these kind of things that traditional banks offer. Guys, honestly, I think we've always spoken about like crypto.com and, and this, that, and the other. These are the new banks. There's no doubt in my mind. Um, and what, literally download the Clever app to see what it's like if, if you're interested in it and have a play around and see what you think. And by the way, as well, to help us out, if you want to, um, please do press the link in the description. We've also added a referral code on there. So if you are interested in downloading the Clever um, platform you can do so with that link as well as helping us out to um, continue to bring out more content invest in the channel and push it to new levels with you guys so i thought i'd throw that out there a bit of a promo so yeah loads of cool stuff going on there but let's have a look at some articles uh, so we've obviously got the polygon aspect of, of what clever is is uh, integrating with so this is a new article as of today as of recording um, so very much around the ability to export backup Polygon wallet addresses. So they basically added uh, Polygon to the system as well. Uh, send and receive Matic, which is obviously fantastic uh, in itself, uh, but being able to use that, I know a lot of people use Matic for a lot of launch pads and swap tokens and, and, and things like that. So that's really good. Buy Matic on the Polygon POS in Clever to buy crypto features with credit card and Apple Pay. Guys, honestly, this this Clever platform is sort of so much going for it. Uh, the the partnerships keep um, flying in. It's absolutely incredible, and especially with powerhouses like Polygon, Matic, it's fantastic to see. 
Um, so go and check out this uh, article if you want any more information. But yeah, of course, the Clever Swap has added nine direct trading pairs to Polygon already. Uh, so those that want to get involved and help um, potentially do staking through Clever, as well as swapping tokens around uh, with very, very minimal fees and the usability of credit cards and Apple Pay. Of course, some of the exchanges are going for a tough time with regulation at the moment. These guys have already gone ahead with all of that, um, you know, sign off and passing the regulatory aspect. So it's really, really exciting. Um, you know, and like I said, the fast transactions, the, the reduction in gas fees, incredible, incredible system to use, in my opinion. And then we've got here, I really like this. Uh, so they, they do quite a lot of um, educational pieces. So they get some like guest bloggers in. And I really like this one. So this is, um, you know, around uh, Africa being, you know, one of the leaders um, in the, the crypto space, bringing it to people's attention, utilizing cryptocurrency, and, and they're making way, really big moves. I mean, those that don't know, I, I follow quite a few like agenda programs, Agenda 30 and stuff. And one of the key aspects of the World Economic Forum was to help them uh, reduce internal trade barriers. And that actually happened last year. I don't know if many people know that, but it's, it's essentially opened up their markets that they haven't done for, I don't even know when. Certainly since I, I've been born, Africa has been suppressed and it's been really sad and horrible to see. And of course, some poverty and people not being rewarded for their hard work and you know farming, etc. Now with blockchain and things like smart contracts, know your customer, and that whole ability of knowing where your food and products have come from, it's, it's allowing people who are unbankable to become bankable. It's allowing people who um, perhaps have been, you know, what would be the word, I guess, like missing out on on revenue for their families um, and themselves by, you know, all these big companies coming in, commercial companies going, yeah, yeah, we'll pay you like five pence or a litre of rice or whatever. But when actually they should be being paid way more than that. And this is what it's about. Now the consumer has the power with these kind of technologies to look at the historic information of their produce that they're consuming. On top of that, the on the reverse side, the people harvesting, making the food, the products, whatever it is from Africa, now have the ability to do that on the reverse and see where's the, the trace of their produce going. And at the same time, helping them with supply and demand, automation, autonomous, etc. Hence, we build in AI and everything. But one of the big things, of course, is the financial side. And these kind of projects like Clever are allowing people in Africa and around the world, around the world, to install this app for free, get involved with crypto, make themselves wealthier and more powered to themselves, not under the, the governance, not under um, you know, manipulation and corruption, that most governments have, including our own here in the UK, printing money, this, that, and other. Power to the people, and I love Clever, because not only do they do nice educational pieces like that, but they emphasize that they are here to change the world. They are here to improve the world. I love that, and I am invested in Clever for one of these reasons. You know, I want the whole world to be on a, on a nice equality level and if the World Economic Forum and the Agenda Faye program, program say what they say they are, then that should be an important imperative part for the world moving forward. So I really hope that Clever and other exchanges and other wallets take push this as far as they can. It's time for change. So now I've gone off on my political rant there. Let's go into the chart. Um, so please, if you have found this video informative, press the like button, subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already, and hit that bell button if you want to be notified of any videos coming your way from ourselves. So guys, yeah, we mentioned about all the new exchange launches in Q4 sometime, but more importantly, I think it's the 30th, the 30th of September, I believe, um, we will have your extra launches of being able to access things on the desktop and other platforms too. So it's really, really uh, big key imperative times for Clever in my opinion, and it's a great opportunity to get involved in terms of investing. Um, none of this is financial advice, obviously, uh, but there's a couple of, of the observations that I want to bring to your attention regarding this chart. So we did kind of briefly look at this in the intro video um, a week or so ago, but of course, any project that kind of launches and it's had a launch pad aspect to it and things like this, 
you tend to get the big massive spike at the at the beginning of a chart okay so taking us back here let's just um, go back in time a bit to to the back here so what you'll see is a big generative climb in fact I'll just go to auto scale here um, from that launch pad area okay so there's there's concerns if you like it's fantastic for the people that got invested early at you know less than one cent it shot up to 16 cents and just to reiterate uh, from that point let's just take it from down there to up there so within a period of maybe a month uh, we saw pretty much 2000 percent increase back then which is phenomenal um, but what happens here is you then get the decline and that's why we drew the orange line in as a brief trend line in the previous video just to give you an indication of the movement that we've done and what concerns me about that is the big parabolic run with no emphasis of where our support lines are so this is what we're doing right now in my opinion we've had the tailing off and we get constant rejection that's not to say that the asset itself is is a scam or a dud or anything like that it's just the general principle of the market um, and it's and it's history it's history you know so what are we doing right now is we're finding discovery not price discovery in the upward term which, which i'm sure we will do towards the end of this year of course but we're trying to find stability and the one thing that's i'm going to pick out right now which is really important is this area here in the around the 10th of august where we're floating around three and a half cents um we had a bit of a rise with the announcements as i just mentioned and of course the wallet launching etc and people getting more and more on board with this we had the Bitcoin days, which brought it down um, organically and naturally. And we're back along this trend line here in this pretty much this area. And it's kind of like bang on at the moment. So the reason I find it an interesting point is because we have actually on the 19th of July, around 3.7 cents. We have around the 7th of August, 3.5 cents. But here we did dip down. We dipped down lower than that August move to yesterday's number of a close of zero uh, sorry sorry 3.4 cents that was essentially rejected um, and we've come back up and we had a very very just about close above this first um, entry level of the fib retracement here and today we have powered forwards to uh, a bit more as well and I think, of course, with the momentum of the news that's coming out and, and what we're anticipating on the 30th, you may see a rise before that a launch. And then at that launch time, you tend to see a tail off because people have bought the, I wouldn't call it the rumor because everyone knows it's coming, but do you know what I mean? It's like everyone prepares for it. And then the profits are taken because of a bit of FOMO kicks in. And then everyone's like, brilliant, take, take the profits, please. So we've had this reduction so far from this top point on the 5th of September, which uh, completed a high of 6.8 cents to around a 50% retracement uh, to where we are pretty much as of yesterday. So that's quite a good number to entail. Usually it can go up to 70%. Um, and I have drawn these potential buy opportunities in here. This is not financial advice. It's just my thought process. So actually, I have bought a load of Clever recently, but I'm actually gonna put some buy orders in here just to test the water see what we do so I put one just slightly above three cents at around 3.3 .3, and I put one at two point just under 2.9 so I think I put it put 2.87 or something uh, the reason I do that is I never go for the rounded number I always go just before and just after it and usually you get the tails of both ends of the wick in those aspects and I've got one down here at slightly lower I don't think I would I'd put one in it two point um, two point seven cents but that was an indicator for maybe you guys to have a look at but i did put one down here just to be cheeky okay 2.4 cents so they're just there um i'm hoping that we get support here and bounce back up and start flying this up because i think it's a fascinating project of course as the years go by we have plenty of opportunity i'm sure but i'm looking forward to the run here i really am and i think that we could get to arguably just on maybe around that sort of 45 50 cents mark at the end of this run you might think i'm mad but um if you look at back here we have the big high now of course that was related to pretty much of a big launch strategy we've had two other areas of big movements and i think when announcements occur this guy these guys like quite like fly quite well in the chart so um, I'm I'm really bullish on that and I, I wouldn't be surprised to see around that 40 to 50 cent mark 
Uh, but let's see how we go in the next couple of weeks. I'm interested to see how we finish off in September. That's really critical. And what's even more critical is finding this new support line. If we can do that, it kind of confirms, not completely, but I'm happy in the sense that we've had this area here in um, July, we've had this August area, and now we're in pretty much the end of September. The bull run is anticipated to be occurring towards the end of October into November, and, and you know maybe tailing off in December and January. So there's, there's opportunity here. Um, so I think it could go well, especially with the community aspect, with uh, everyone being involved in Clever, how easy it is, how easy it is to adopt, how easy it is to stake, all of these great things about this project. Um, and I think that if we can close above this today, I know there's a few more hours left, and if we can do that over the next two, three days, this could be a general good support line, and hopefully we'll see some green volume going in, because we need this to start increasing more. It's too flimsy at the moment to confirm whether we're switching over. A couple of other things to mention here, the MACD is slightly narrowed in the last 24 hours and the selling volume on the histogram has reduced as well. So there is a slight interest here to me to say that we might close this off in the next few days and maybe by the by the weekend we might have a potential switch over back into the upside. And the RSI is pushing that up as well. We've gone from 35, which is to be fair, very low um, and a great opportunity for purchasing. And that's not to say it won't go down potentially a bit lower, but I'd be very surprised unless Bitcoin does some extremely bad drop again. Uh, but we have risen back up to that 40 mark. So when someone says to me, Simon, is a good time to buy, I said, well, in the long term, of course, any of these prices are pretty good. In the short term, I've, I think it is. I think it's a great opportunity. Yes, of course, it will come, might come down, but you're reducing the risk. And as long as you, if you are trading or you're trying to accumulate in certain ways, again, not financial advice, but take profits along the way, as we always say, and on the way down, if you're trying to accumulate more, do it in percentage values as you were doing it on the upside as well. And then you, you reduce the amount of actual capital, your own cash that you need to put in there as well. And take advantage of the staking. Imagine having this in staking for the next two, three years. It's gonna be absolutely phenomenal. And like I said, we will cover the staking pro project for Clever in the next video, which I hope to do. Uh, we're Wednesday today, so I'm hoping to do it either Friday or Saturday, so keep an eye out for that. Um, but guys, let us know what you think. Are you holding the KLV token in your portfolio? Have you got the wallet? What do you think? Let us know anything really cool about Clever uh, and any, anything bad that you've found about it so far as well. Really interested in the feedback. By the way, they've started following us on Twitter, just throwing that out there. So they're obviously keeping a keen eye on our movements here. But like I said, guys, if you want to help support the channel, appreciate you don't want to send money or anything, but if you do uh, want to do it in a simple way and you want to test out this Clever app, download it in the link below in the description and there's our referral code there as well. It just helps our channel out and we can keep pushing more and more content out um, and things like that and improving our, our studio, which we're trying to finalize in the next couple of weeks. So really appreciate that if you did that. And guys, we'll wrap up there. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you and Clever on the moon and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you and bye-bye.